Good morning students. We will today read about heart, the location of heart, the structure of heart and mechanism of the heart. But that I will send in two parts. So the heart is an organ which beats continuously as a pump for the transfer of blood carrying other substances with it. Through a network of tubes or blood vessels, the heart pumps blood throughout life without stopping or relaxing. So here you can see the structure of the human heart. Let us see the labeling part. As you can see, first it is there, iota, which is the main artery, the pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, left atrium, valves, left ventricle, right atrium, valve, partition completely separating the two halves, right ventricle, and on top you can see it is written over there, vena cava. So as you can see, the heart is hollow inside and is made up of special muscles called cardiac muscles. The heart has four compartments called chambers. As you can see, left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, right ventricle. So these are the four chambers. So let us see the location of the heart. Where is the heart located in our body? The heart is located in the chest cavity slightly towards the left side. It lies between the two lungs and above the diaphragm. The heart is hollow inside and made up of special muscles called cardiac muscles. The size of a heart is roughly equal to a fist about 12 cm in length and 9 cm in breadth. So let us now see the structure of the heart. The heart has four compartments called as chambers. The upper two chambers of the heart are called atria, singular atrium or it is also called as auricles and two lower chambers of the heart are called ventricles. On the left side of the heart are left atrium and left ventricle and on the right side of the heart are right atrium and right ventricle. The atria and ventricles are separated by valves. These are the muscular flaps that allow the blood to flow in only one direction. The right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood while the left side of the heart carries oxygenated blood. The heart is separated by a partition called septum from right side of the heart to the left side. This prevents mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood inside the heart. Let us now see the left and right side of the heart. The left and right side of the heart act as two separate pumps. The left side of the heart pumps the oxygenated blood into the whole body, while the right side of the heart pumps the deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The oxygenated blood must be kept separated from deoxygenated blood to supply good amount of oxygen to the body cells for respiration and release of energy. This is the schematic diagram of circulatory system. As you can see in front of you, these are the lungs. This here it shows the lungs. This is the pulmonary vein which brings the oxygen, this is the left side and this is the right side. So the from the pulmonary vein brings the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart, that is to the left auricle and from the left auricle, it, the uh, blood pushes to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle, the blood moves through this artery, that is the iota, into all parts of the body and in these capillaries, as I have told you, they are the thinnest blood vessels where all the exchange of gases takes place and also the food, all these things are being transported to from the, the exchange part is done in the capillaries. And after that blood, the deoxygenated blood goes through these veins in back into the heart. That when it goes through these veins, it goes into the right auricle first. Then when the right auricle contracts, the blood pushes into the right ventricle. And from the right ventricle, through the pulmonary artery, this deoxygenated blood goes back into the lungs for oxygenation. So now we'll study, I'll send the
mechanism in another video. So thank you.